what's up everyone welcome back to the channel my name is travis and welcome back to another video so today we're down here in the fish room looking at some stn or slow tissue necrosis here in the 300 gallon reef now i do have it in two different spots on two different colonies and i want to go over my process and my approach to addressing this issue now if you've never dealt with stn if you're just starting a reef tank or you're starting to get into sps corals it, there is a good chance that you will um, run into it in the future, so stick around. I'll talk about my approach and how I've not only saved entire colonies, but I've also been able to save at least parts of the colony so I could grow them out in different parts of the tank. So uh, with that, uh, in this video, I want to also talk about some of the causes. Um, I know I've addressed it before, but we'll do a little refresher for those of you who are just kind of new to the channel or new to uh, retank. So with that said, uh, STN or slow tissue necrosis is actually very common in an SPS tank just because there's so many different things that could cause it anywhere from temperature fluctuations, pH fluctuations, uh, more importantly alkalinity fluctuations, also not having enough flow or maybe having detritus built up like in my circumstance. These things can cause coral stress which causes the tissue to recede or die off which is basically the slow tissue necrosis. Now in my particular situation I have it in two spots up here on this Barney coral you might be able to see it we have a little bit of white here if I come around to the back of this Barney coral um, you can see that it's hard to man, I guess you can see there's a lot of death underneath here now uh, in my particular situation for this coral colony it's coming from it being um, hit by the green slimer as well as the tort in the back uh, both of those corals have grown underneath and into that barney coral and as with everything in nature there's always going to be a winner and there's always going to be a loser and in this circumstance the barney coral is losing the battle now some of the things that i've done to address this so far over the last couple months is i've cut back the green slimer significantly um, all the places that it was originally touching i have cut that stuff back um, i've also um, cut back the other coral the other um, acro in the back that was touching it trimming that stuff and which actually looks like i have to get in there today or tomorrow and trim that up as well and i might actually just do that while i'm addressing the issue with the barney coral and i still haven't decided exactly what i'm going to do yet and uh, we'll kind of figure it out as we go here so uh, with that said this particular colony it's just being touched by other sps it has nothing to do with alkalinity nothing to do with flow nothing to do with detritus or any kind of fluctuation in any water parameter it's simply being stressed out by other corals and unfortunately it just can't handle the stress or it can't adapt to it so it is slowly dying off now if i was to leave this colony i could tell you now that uh, because i've been dealing with stn on this for the last several months that it will eventually take over the entire colony um, it's very very slow i mean this particular piece right here has been stning for probably two and a half weeks but it is a, it is killing off that frag now i could have cut that earlier and probably saved it but i definitely wanted to make this video to to give you guys an idea of kind of how this all works so uh, with that said what I'm going to do with this colony, which I've already done, is I took some frags off and I put them other places in the tank. So I put two pieces here on the middle structure, it's probably difficult to see. They're already encrusted and growing in. And I also went ahead and put a frag of it down here behind this fish. <laughs> Hopefully you can see it. It's right here and it's already growing in. Now that's something that I like to do when I get um, a little bit of STN is I always cut the frag, uh, cut the colony in a safe spot. Now. I'm not going to cut it down here where it actually is STNing, but I will pick a very healthy frag at the top. I'll cut off a little bit of it, relocate it within the reef tank. That way it can continue to grow just in case that colony completely dies off for whatever reason. I at least can save it and continue to grow it. So that's one approach that I like to do. Now, one thing that I am considering doing, and I probably will, is I probably will come in here and take this entire colony out because this green slimer is a monster. Uh, the other acro on the back, which is growing a heck of a lot faster than the barney coral. I mean, that, I mean that, col that, that colony back there was only an inch and a half um, five months ago, and it's probably five or six inches already. So it's going to take over and ev eventually wipe out that barney. So because this is a business, I do have to make a decision based on that as well. It's not just like a reef tank that I keep in my house that I can you know, decide what I, you know, if I want to just let it go. Um, I'm probably going to frag out this entire colony. I'm going to give it a, a week or so, and I'll give you guys an update video and probably take you through the process if I decide. But I'll most likely remove that entire colony, put a little stub back in its place, and kind of see how it does. Because I do like the Barney there. It's got a lot of great um, blue and purple coloration at the top because it's, it's a good par range for it. Um, the reason why it's been there since the very beginning. So um, with that, 
I'm going to give it a little bit of time. I am going to cut off some of the dead stuff here and then just kind of address it over the next week or two. And again, I'll give you guys a video. Now, the second spot I'm getting some STN is down here. I like to keep colonies at the bottom of the tank. Unfortunately, being only 250 par, they don't have the greatest coloration or the best growth. But uh, I'm still getting growth. It's still not too bad. The only issue is down here at the bottom of the tank in certain spots and then in front here, between these two rock structures and in the front is a dead spot with flow because we do have flow wise we have an mp40 we have an mp40 down here and then we have the wave pump here so it does take care of the majority of the flow going across the tank and the bottom and the back for detritus purposes but as you can see where's the flow in the front i'm not getting a lot here up in the front and unfortunately with that i get detritus build up um excuse me uh, detritus buildup in the colony. Now, if the, if the detritus sits in an SPS or an Acropora colony for a long period of time, it suffocates the polyps and causes it to die off. So that's where I'm getting the slow tissue necrosis on that. Um, the original colony that, that was actually on the other side of that had the same situation. So with that said, I'm probably going to relocate these colonies. I would say put them back there more, but because of the sheer amount of flow, from the MP40, it's too much flow and causes tissue issues as well. So there's a fine line between too much and not enough, and right here is not enough. Back about seven inches is too much. Forward, obviously it's gonna hit the glass, so I'm probably gonna have to relocate that. I do have a decent amount of flow back here on this other one, which has my Montes, and um, maybe consider putting it back there to help with that or bringing it up front, we'll see. But uh, yeah, so in this situation, I'm going to um, pull off this uh, rock and I'm going to cut up and frag this colony just to save as much of it as I can because I am getting the tissue loss underneath and um, that's definitely an indication that that entire colony isn't going to last long. If it was just at the tips at the top here, excuse me, let me adjust the camera. If it was just on the tips of the acros, I would be okay with letting it go a little bit, but since it's underneath at the base, it's pretty much going to be done. So I'll take this opportunity to remove the colony and I'll leave a little bit, just like back here, a little stub on there and see if it regrows and kind of does its thing. So in my circumstance, I'm having corals killing each other or stressing each other out, which is very common in SPS tank. And then not enough flow and detritus buildup on some of the acros at the very bottom of the tank. And uh, it's just like, and you can even see here, I get a little bit on this colony as well, just because there's some dead spots in the flow. This is an Acropora at the bottom of the tank. So yeah, you're gonna run into a little bit of an issue with that. Um, and I guess I could get more power heads, but um, there's a reason why I only have the three in here on each side is because I want a minimal, minimalistic look of flow. Um, I don't want giant power heads all over the place. So um, I maybe, maybe I will dress it. Maybe I'll put a Nero 5 or something on the back wall or, or, or something in the future. But for now, I'm just gonna move the colonies around to make them happy. So. Um, I think that's it for this video. Um, like I mentioned before, common issues are going to be your alkalinity. Alkalinity is a huge issue when it comes to um, STN and RTN, specifically RTN or rapid tissue necrosis. Um, having major fluctuation, fluctuations in alkalinity of one or two points in a single day, that seems to be a big trigger for me. Outside of that, as long as your water parameters are stable, you, you should be good to go. Okay. So with that, um, if you guys have anything you want to add to this video or is there anything you recommend or, or you want, um, feel free to put that in the comment section. Um, outside of that, I will um, do an update video. We're going to come through and cut this up and most likely cut this, this coral up. I just have to uh, set a little time aside to, uh, to make that happen. Outside of that, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Again, any questions, let me know and I'll see you later. Peace.